Okay, we're going to talk about the monitoring badges today. Uh, monitoring badges come in a box of four. Inside the box, you'll find four mailers, four small white boxes. Inside each of the box is the monitoring badge itself. You'll find it in two foil pouches. The pouches are there to protect the badge during shipping. We're going to break open the inner foil pouch and remove the badge. Make sure that your hands don't have any residual chemicals on them while you're handling the badge, whether it be when you first take the badges out or put it back in, because any residual chemicals that you might smear on the badge or splash on the badge is obviously you can skew the numbers and it's not going to be accurate. On the outside of the mailer box, you're going to find an area where it says account number. If you've used the badges before, your facility was, was given an account number. You can just put that account number there, and you don't have to fill out the name of the institution, address, city, state, etc. If you haven't used the badges before, then you will need to include that information. So let's call this XYZ Hospital. Official attention will be the supervisor wherever the report's going to. Let's say Tim Jones. Okay, the address, one, two, three, um, Hope City, etc. The official attention will be the email of the supervisor. Um, this area here will change each time you use the badge. So the monitoring badge was used on uh, this particular day. So let's say today is 1112 and you want to note the start time and the stop time. It's very critical that we know exactly how long you use the badge for, for analysis. So let's say it's 1 o'clock p.m. is when we start. The person's name that's using the badge is Sally Jones. And what was Sally doing? Okay, she is, let's just say, she is the sterilizer operator today. Um, we're going to fill in the stop time at the end of the shift. So if, uh, if Sally wore the badge until 9 o'clock p.m., then we add that there. Okay. If, it, if it's just a 15-minute badge, then you can just cross that. If it's a known eight hours, then you can cross that. But if you're not sure the exact time or when they're going to wear it, you can put the start time and the stop time. Very critical. The monitoring badge can be used on person. You're going to want to put it on the lapel in the breathing zone area here, uh, whether it be near the shoulder or near the neck or the collar or so forth, or your lab coat, whatever the case may be. When you're working with the badge on, again, be careful not to touch the badge with your fingers that you may have some chemicals on them. That will definitely skew the numbers. If you want to use the monitoring badge as an area monitor, then put it in the area. You can attach it to the wall near a sterilizer, near the equipment, whatever the case may be, attach it to a piece of tape and then put that piece of tape onto wherever you want to test. At the end of your shift, at the end of the test, we're going to put the badge back inside the two foil pouches. Okay. Again, make sure that your hands are clean so you don't have any chemical to skew the numbers. That one zipped shut. This badge is, or this bag is zipped shut back in the mailer box, lock that down, okay? And then you just put this directly in any mailbox. You don't need a stamp or an address, just straight in the mailbox. Just make sure that you've recorded some information here. Okay? After the badge reaches us, we'll send you an analysis report, a one-page analysis report for each badge used. The information is going to have the institution, um, the account number for that institution for that chemical, and um, the federal standards on how, what's the maximum allowed levels, like this particular analysis report is for formaldehyde. So it lists the 8-hour TWA, which is 0 0.75 ppm, and then the 15-minute STEL, which is 2 ppm. The, this area here is going to list the monitoring badge that was, uh, that was used that day. Here's the person, T. Thomas, the badge serial number. On the back of the monitoring badge, every badge has a serial number. 
that. So the serial number of the badge that was used, the date that the badge was used, and the mass recovered, that's more for the laboratory. Um, that's the actual amount that was recovered onto the badge, but you don't have to worry about that. The sampling time, the duration that the badge was used, this particular badge was used for eight hours, and then the concentration, 0.02 ppm for this particular badge. The remarks are going to change whatever you wrote on the outside of the box, the mailer box, working with tissue processor, um, near the sterilizer, um, whatever the case may be. Later on down the line, when let's say this particular person, T. Thomas, used four badges. So the monitoring, if the exposure profile is going to list four badges, it'll give you the highest, the lowest, and then the average. But right now, we're just going to concern ourselves with the concentration for this particular badge.